It's Accountex Live 2023. We're in London and I'm here with Mark Edmondson from Inflow. Good day, Mark. Good day. Uh, are you excited? Always excited, Rob. <laughs> How hectic has it been on the Inflow stand today? It's been really, really busy. It's been a fantastic day. The, the atmosphere at Accountex is quite unique. And uh, yeah, for us, it's been a really busy day so far. Well, you're a stalwart. You've been to how many now? Oh, I, don't, I founded Inflow seven years ago, so probably about seven. Give a flavor to people that haven't been to Accountex of actually what it's like. I think there's a general buzz across the whole floor. Um, What's quite unique about Accountex is how close the speaking sessions and the education is yeah. to the to the stands and to the exhibitions. Um, that creates a real kind of buzz and a footfall of people milling around, bumping into each other. And, and for me personally, it's a great opportunity to just meet loads of people that I interact with through social media or other digital forms throughout the year and a great place to actually just bump into each other and just be a bit more informal and, and enjoy being in the same place. It's nice to get face to face these it, days. It, it's still it's still so vital yeah. for building new relationships and maintaining those relationships yeah. that you have. I think you can, you can use virtual um, but don't underestimate how much face to face makes an impact. And when people stop by your stand and say Inflow, what's all that about? How do you open up? Um, well, really, it's about understanding the firm themselves first before telling people about what we do. Okay. Um, we, we have a very, very versatile and, and broad offering. And, and so it's kind of the, the doctor giving the prescription. We need to really understand the challenges that Diagnose. the firm's looking to, to, to solve okay. first. A lot of those challenges are quite consistent. We're seeing a lot of trends, uh, which you'll be hearing about, Rob, around you know the challenges over talent. How can we really um, deliver more work from the same team or a smaller team uh, and, and those challenges really lead us towards some of our capabilities around using a more data driven approach to audit services for example uh, and really trying to make sure that the process is far more efficient than some of the manual practices that firms are, are really struggling with at the moment. Mm. Audit's very much your field. How much is the audit space changing at the moment? The audit, change, but the audit space is, is, really, is really changing right now. So what we're seeing in the UK market specifically is a lot of firms are really rationalizing their client base. And right. so- What does that mean? What they're doing is, um, this is partly driven by some of the uh, pressures from the regulators and some of the expectations that we've seen in the market from some of the high profile failures like uh, the Carillion saga, for example. Yeah. The, the biggest firms are focusing more of their time on their biggest clients. That means that they can't recruit enough people to do that and all of the other clients. And yeah. so what they've been doing is trimming the tail. They've been okay. moving on from some of their clients. And that's created a waterfall effect in the market, Rob, which is almost unparalleled opportunity for firms. People are saying to us, we're having you know, so many opportunities to win new clients that we've never seen before. And it's partly because the firms that are bigger than us are dropping their clients mm. and they are then themselves picking up new exciting clients and having to rationalize their own client base and so what we're seeing is that kind of ripple effect across the uk market specifically firms have the opportunity to win new audit clients like never before and it's giving them the opportunity to really invest in technology and smarter ways of working to be able to service those clients mm. i'm thinking too about the scrutiny that audit faces at the moment and the regulatory changes technology plays a massive part in keeping on top of all of that you're absolutely right rob um it's about yes doing work quicker but making sure that the compromise there isn't that we're cutting corners mm -hmm. and so delivering high quality work naturally leads you towards well automation gets it right every time yeah if you've set it up correctly. Yeah. And so we're seeing a, a shift towards using data far more to support the audit process. Why would we look at a sample of 10 items when we can look at everything and really focus on the risky things? Mm. And how can we just be more intelligent about where we're actually focusing our time and our effort? And at the same time, how can we add more value to the client so they're getting new insights, new perspectives, and more confidence over the numbers that they're using to run their business? Yeah. You mentioned the UK. We're an international show. You're an international business. How are we doing compared to other countries that you're working in? Specifically in the audit space, which is where we really focus, the UK is in a good place okay. in the sense of, I would say that the UK market is one of the leading markets in the world, okay. if not the leading market in the world from an audit technology and adoption status. 
certainly way ahead of where the US and the Australia markets are right. for many different reasons. But one of the key things has been the big four firms have really driven a lot of their order innovation from UK-based teams. Okay. And so what you see is that the UK big four firms have driven adoption from here. And then those skill sets have naturally permutated into other firms in the UK market. So I think we're in a really good place here. What that means, though, is that we need to keep pushing forward and keep adopting technology to really step up to the expectations in this UK market because it's probably one of the most intensely regulated markets as well. Yeah. And those dynamics mean that we can't rest on our laurels. Yeah. Now, accountants at Accountex are generally the smaller firms. You deal with the bigger firms and the mid-tier firms. What kind of conversations have you been having on the inflow stand? It's a really good observation, Rob, that a lot of this technology does start at the top of the market, mm. particularly in the audit space. But what's quite refreshing, this account X maybe versus previous account X is, is a lot of smaller firms are hearing about inflow and hearing that there's a better way to approach the audit process. Okay. And they're coming to us to inquire, is this something that my size of firm can now get access to? And what's really refreshing is to be able to say, yeah, yes. You can open that up to Th them. Now. This is something that you can use technology that would really be fit for the big four, yeah. but it's it's here and it's available for your firm. And one of the things that I think has really paid off for us, Rob, is our investment in education. And so we've done a partnership with the ICAW and the inflow technology is within the ACA qualification. It's wow. in the exams. Yeah. So two of the modules, the corporate reporting and the audit and assurance modules, our software is part of the education and the exam process working through an example client data set, using visualizations, teaching auditors and accountants the skills that you need in the modern world. And, and that's, that's basically feeding this, this grassroots level understanding of, hang on, there is a better way here. Yeah. There's a technology solution that really is gonna game change what audit looks like. I'm so pleased to hear that because technology, that's been an accusation of the examination process for qualification for accountants that they've not factored in the changes in technology but now that's part of the mix that's going to churn out more accountants that are fit for the modern day role but well, and it's also creating almost like a reverse mentoring type situation as well rob where junior people who are studying their exams are actually ah, supporting yeah managers, partners, yeah. who maybe just don't feel as comfortable yeah. with changing what they've done all their careers. Yeah. Uh, and the, the nervousness around change is getting broken down because actually the most junior people are the ones who are craving that change. They're, yeah. they're almost saying, we've seen, we've seen the light. Can we, can we push this? Can we explore this? And I think that's giving partners and people who are responsible for making technology decisions and investments a little bit more confidence that yes, this is something that we can use, and yes, this is scalable, because we've already seen that our staff love it. Mm. Final question, Mark. You've got one eye on the now, but one eye on the future. You're building something significant at Inflow. What excites you most about what's coming up? It's an interesting question, Rob. What excites me most about what's coming up next? I, I think really what, what I'm enthused about and I get this sense from being here at Accountex as well, is no one single software provider can actually deliver all of the technology that accountants can, that need, they need. Yeah. Yeah. What we've seen in the, the bookkeeping space is that concept around marketplace apps and creating like more of an ecosystem okay. that firms can use to deliver more innovative bookkeeping services. Where I think that there's an opportunity for the broader profession to really evolve and start thinking differently around technology is cloud has given us the table stakes to be more integrated, to use APIs, to use different capabilities, to not have to be an X shop anymore. You can actually take a more progressive tech strategy. And what I'm really enthused about is Inflow playing a really key role in being one of the core platforms that's really driving that more innovative, integrated, seamless experience, maybe across multiple different technologies for you to get the right solution for your clients, but actually unlocking that whole technology capability so firms can 
be more innovative and, and think more creatively. Exciting times. Indeed. Mark Edmondson of Vinflow, thank you so much for your time. That's been great. Thanks, Rob.